Hey makers, it's Charlotte with The Wood and Wit Co. And today I'm super excited to show you guys how to make a candle using dyes. You can change your wax from this creamy white beautiful color to yellow, green, blue, black, whatever you want. Um, and it's super fun and a creative process. Um, when you're choosing your dye, be sure that you're choosing a dye that is designated for use in candles. That's going to tell you it's safe to use while the candle's burning and it's going to solubilize into your wax. Um, this is a really awesome black candle that I made and I'm going to show you guys a tutorial for how to make this exact candle in this video. I'm using our black Eco Reach certified dyes from the Wooden Wit Co. today. And this black dye is so cool because it has the REACH certification, which essentially means it causes no harm to the people, the planet, or animals. So that's something we all can get behind and another reason why I'm so excited about this product. So first things first, we're going to make our candle sort of the usual way that we would make our candle, but in the process before we pour, we're going to add in our dyes. The candle I'm making today is our matte black aura. I love this look of black on black. And um, this candle I'm gonna fill to 12 ounces. I'm also gonna be using 10% fragrance load with our lemon blossom and sea mist fragrance oil. And so I'm gonna need 1.2 ounces of, wax, of fragrance that I'm gonna measure out as well as 10.8 ounces of wax. So I've already started preheating some wax behind me, so we don't have to wait around, but let's get this wax weighed anyhow, so you guys can do this process yourselves too. So we are looking to, again, get to 10.8 ounces of wax. Um, this is our virgin coconut soy. You can see how easy it cuts. It's like super creamy and white and beautiful. And that's pretty close. We're at about 10.8 ounces there. And so if I didn't have this wax already preheated, you would take this wax, place it into your pouring pitcher in a double boiler, and you're going to melt it to about 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So because I already have that step in the process done, I'm going to skip straight ahead to weighing my fragrance oil. So I just have a little cup here and I'm going to weigh out 1.2 ounces of fragrance oil. Again, this is lemon blossom and sea mist. Okay, fabulous. I poured a little bit extra, so we're gonna have some strong fragrance in there. But nonetheless, we can grab our wax that is heated and ready to go, and we're gonna mix in our fragrance oil, and then we're gonna mix in our dye. So let's grab that wax and get started. Okay, awesome, we've got our wax, it's melted, it's ready to stir in the fragrance. When you add your fragrance oil, I'm gonna add the whole amount, and I'm gonna stir for two to three minutes so that the wax and fragrance fully bind together. So hang tight, and let's get this wax mixed up. Okay, we are ready to go. So I am now going to mix my dye. Um, when you're using dye, you don't actually use weight. We generally measure by drops because dye is super concentrated. You only need a very small amount to make a big impact in your candle. Um, for this size candle, I'm going to add about four drops. <laughs> it's a little bit extra, so I've got a super black candle. Um, but keep in mind that the amount of dye that you add and adding any dyes or other additives can affect your wick performance, especially with really dark dyes like black, reds, they can cause you to need to wick up from your normal wick size because that dye can make the, the wax a little bit harder to consume for the wick. So with that being said, I am going to place my wick into my wick clip. I'm going to grab a wick sticker, place it on the center bottom of my clip and now we're just going to place that right into the center of our candle vessel. Okay, lastly, all that's left to do is pour our candle. Okay. 
There you have it. We just made a candle with dye. It was really simple. Really the only extra process from your normal candle making process is to add the dye after you've added your fragrance and be sure to do a burn test before you sell or start using candles with dye because again, the dye can affect your wick performance. So do a burn test make sure the candle's performing properly, and you will end up with a gorgeous candle just like the one we've created here today together. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making!